So remember when I had you all write down one through eight on your, on your yellow index cards. How many of you have the yellow index card? Raise your hand just so I know where you are. Perfect. Would you do me a favor? We're going to go through this really quick. Would you write down the words you would type in to find this product? And we're going to go through these really quick. So start right. What would you type in to find this product? What would you type in to find this product? And because I love these things, because I won't bias your results, what would you type in to find this thing? And most of you are probably writing pretty much the same thing. But there's always some people that don't. And they might actually be willing to purchase from you if they could find you. And you had the right keywords in your site so that you were found. But let's make it get a little more complex. What would you type to find a company to set up your phone office system for your office with multiple extensions. What would you type in to find that? I think some of you guys are starting to see where I'm getting with this, right? And when everybody stands up with their cards and says what they typed in, you're going to see that people will all look for the same product or service and every one of them might call it something different. And they may all be willing to purchase from you if you did the keyword research to find out that they're all typing in all these different derivatives. We're actually working with a company that works on infertility. What would you type in to find a company or individual that could help you with infertility problems? What would you type in? You'd be amazed what you might find. I'll tell you, when you do keyword research, sometimes you find some really sick things. You're like, wow, people really type that in. If you ever do any work for Disney, you would be amazed at some of the people that are probably hanging out on MySpace a bit too long. OK, and what would you type in to find an organization like mine? If you're looking for somebody to get you at the top of Google, what would you type into a search engine to find? All right, now take your yellow card and hand it to the person to your left. And if there's nobody to your left, hand it to the person to your right, okay? Can someone with that card stand up and tell me what your person had for this product? Someone? So maybe come through the audience because I'll start picking out. We got one right there. TV. So the first one was TV. Anybody have anything other than TV? Look how many hands are up. I have only a few cards. What do you have? Widescreen TV? Flat screen. Okay, so we have TV and flat screen. Anybody doesn't have those, put your hands down. Anybody else with others? There we go. Plasma TV. We got a plasma. If you're plasma, put your hand down. TV entertainment system. She's ready to buy a plasma TV, but she's calling it. A, but you know what? The, the thing there that I'm trying to illustrate to you all is that you have to call it what people are calling it. You know, you might want to call it a plasma TV all day because it's a plasma TV. Well, why don't you do compare our plasma TV to LCD TVs? Now you have both keywords on the page. You're providing a comparison to the two, which is valuable to people, which people might link to if it's done really well. And now you've got both keywords up there. Because you're like, what's well, a plasma TV? Well, I can't call it an LCD TV. OK. Of course you can't call it an LCD TV when it's a plasma, but there's ways around that. OK? Let's go to this one. All right, somebody start. We got you again. Rio. Her name is Rio, and she dances in the... No, not that one? Okay, so I mean, you might come back with lyrics. If you typed in Rio, you may just come back with lyrics. Next. MP3 player. Great. Anything different? I knew it. There's always an iPod on that one. It's not an iPod. But that's what people call it. You tell Grandma you want an MP3 player, she's going to buy you an iPod. This. This should be somewhat easy, but let's see. Start again, my friend. Laptop. laptop. Anybody, anything other than laptop? Jeez. What do we got? Notebook. Computer. Laptop. Laptop, laptop computer. Important. If you just put laptop up in your title tag and don't put the word computer along with it, guess what? You're not going to rank well for the word laptop computer. Okay? We got another one in the back. Notebook computers. You guys are starting to see it. This. I love boxers. Now I can say it's a boxer, but what all did you say was for this term here? Dog. Dog. Anybody different than a dog? Boxer dog. Anything other? Pet. Wow. <laughs> Brindle boxer. Someone that really knows will call that exactly what it is. Some of us are out there calling it a pet. It's a brindle boxer. I didn't even know that. Now let's get really, really into when you get to the services side, this whole thing goes nuts. What would you type in for these guys to find a company to put in your multi phone system? Phone office system. Does everyone here have that? Didn't think so. Come on, give me a couple others. Phone service. Phone service. 
PBX, good. Corporate phone system. Business telephone system. Come on, you guys, this side of the room, give me a little love. What do you have? Multi-line phone installer. <laughs> Multi-extension phone system company. Now you'll notice, all these people are looking for the same freaking product. So if you don't have all these different keywords and find a very creative way, and this is why when it comes to search, you can't be one of those companies, or you can't work with one of those companies that just stuffs a bunch of keywords in there. You have, it's, it's easy. Good search engine optimization people can not only achieve a high rank, they can do it without making your site look god awful and not make any sense. So it's one thing just to throw these keywords in, it's another thing to add some value. Do you have a question? How do you do this without a whole room? <laughs> the question is how do I do this without a whole room full of people? And you know why? It's because since I've been doing this for eight years, I've learned to take my bias, ball it up, throw it out the window. I've learned to call my mom. Mom, I know you're 65, but what would you type in to find this? Because you know what? She buys things on Google or through Google that she finds. <laughs> but I think you guys are starting to get the idea. So let's skip to what you would type in to find a company like mine. Search engine? Helper. Did I get a search engine helper? I got to change my cards. SEO. SEO expert. SEO expert. SEO consultant. SEO consultant. That's my favorite because we rank well for it. Google top rank. Google top rank. I once had someone tell me, ah, oh, your site stinks. You guys don't rank well for anything. What do you mean? We're like number one or number two for SEO agencies. We're number five for SEO consultants. Well, I typed in top ranking company firm SEO. Well, dude, you're one. I did the keyword research and found, and I looked at the conversions for the keywords and found that we're not really targeting search engine optimization, we're targeting SEO. Does anybody have an idea why we're targeting SEO as our main term instead of search engine optimization? Ross, what do you think, bro? Because you gotta know what SEO really is. You have, you got it. We're looking for a more savvy consumer. You know why? Because we're not cheap. We're not the guys that are gonna submit your site out to 100 search engines for 50 bucks. That's not us. We don't want the person that types in search engine optimization. You know why? They might be looking for tips, newsletters, tricks, and you know what? Unless you're here, you're not getting all my bookmarks, okay? So, therefore, if you think about it, I don't want those people to come to my site. We might be able to say, yeah, we rank great for it, but I want to make sure our site attracts the right kind of people. Because you know what? I don't have that much time to sit there on the phone with someone that tells me that they want to rank well for a term for 500 bucks. So, therefore, I want to make sure I try my best to attract the more savvy audience.